Today I have a special Valentine's Day cookie for you guys. Actually, these are great for any holiday and any time of year, but they're especially great for Valentine's Day because they are red. I'm gonna show you how to make a keto white chocolate chip red velvet cookie. Let's get started. These bread velvet cookies are one of the best cookies I've had in a long time, so you're gonna wanna make these. We're gonna start by adding a half a cup of softened butter to a bowl. Next, add in a half a cup of sweetener of your choice. I'm gonna be using monk fruit blend. You wanna mix this together until it's light and fluffy. It will take you several minutes. And then we're gonna add in one egg. Next, we're gonna add in our flavoring, which is one teaspoon of vanilla extract, along with our coloring. So red velvet cookies are traditionally red. It's usually from like the reaction that happens with the, the buttermilk with the chocolate. Um, so it doesn't produce like the deepest red color, so we're gonna add some food coloring. You wanna add a lot of it, so a tablespoon if you can. You can get away with adding less, they just won't be as brilliant red. In a separate bowl, we're gonna add our dry ingredients, which is one cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of coconut flour. You're also gonna need three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now the cocoa powder I'm gonna use is by Cacao Bliss. Um, this is from an Earth Echo product and I love this stuff. Like it's lightly sweetened with a little bit of monk fruit, but it also contains superfoods. Um, so it's not only raw cacao, it's turmeric, some black pepper, lacuma, cinnamon, it has MCT oil in it. I love the flavors. It really enhances any flavor of your dish. So I highly recommend that you check these guys out. I'll have information listed down below in the description description box as well as a code for you guys to use so make sure you check that out it really up levels these cookies so I highly recommend that you seek out cacao bliss in this recipe you'll also need one teaspoon of baking powder a half of a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt we're going to whisk this together until it's combined and then back to our wet ingredients we're going to slowly add in these dry ingredients to our wet ingredients Once everything's combined, we're gonna add that little bit of slight tang that is characteristic of a red velvet cake or cookie, which is gonna be buttermilk, but actually I'm not gonna use buttermilk. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of heavy cream along with a half a teaspoon of vinegar. Next, we're gonna add in our sugar-free white chocolate chips. This is a half of a cup going in here. And now let's bake these cookies. We're gonna put them on a parchment lined baking tray, flatten them out, and we're gonna bake them in a 350 degree oven for around 10 to 12 minutes. Once they're finished baking, they're still extremely delicate and soft to the touch, so let them cool on the baking tray for around a couple of minutes or so before moving them to a wire rack to finish cooling. These cookies are so delicious. It's one of my favorite cookie to make. A big thanks to Cacao Bliss. Once again, check them out down below. I'll have all the information for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get more ideas and recipes whenever they come out. 